We are fortunate to have uh, lots of professors and experts, uh, ministers, high-ranking uh, uh, delegations from all over Asia and the Pacific. We are looking forward for more uh, wisdom and uh, uh, experience from uh, uh, those uh, ministers and the leaders uh, from around the world, and especially here in, in, in Asia, East Asia. Yeah, I thought it was really useful to hear different countries' perspectives. And actually what was really good, I thought, the, the highlight for me was the Singaporean minister's um, position in terms of providing a, a practical application to, uh, in the ways that we can um, develop a peaceful uh, Asia-Pacific. The plenary sessions are very good, very informative, very comprehensive, and I believe that we will achieve a lot more uh, from the, uh, what we are listening to and encountering. Even the people-to-people -people exchanges, people-to-people -people dialogue, the uh, exchange in, in, in conversation. I am quite impressed with the uh, Global Security Initiative uh, that has been uh, initiated by, by, by the, the People's Republic of China. Uh, it's still in its concept st stage, but I'm very impressed with the, uh, with the content uh, as it is quite inclusive. This year it, it is the 10th anniversary of the One Belt and One Road initiative, which is also um, a form of uh, China's contribution to the regional and global stability and security. Uh, so it is important uh, to understand how China is going to position itself on the international arena since China uh, is a very important actor on the uh, international scene. It's uh, one of the great powers, uh, one of the permanent members of the United Nations Security Council. Uh, and uh, it is clear and obvious that uh, China's position on those or that particular issue, crisis or conflict situation is very important and uh, with the help of this forum I have in depth my knowledge about China's attitude to the developments in other parts of the world, including in Europe, especially when it comes to the Russia-Ukraine conflict, not only in this region, in others as well, the Middle East, uh, especially because of the uh, um, escalation between Israel and the Hamas group. We know that China has approached uh, Iran and Saudi Arabia and facilitated a peace deal uh, between them. So uh, we see that China is very active on the international arena. What I, I really saw it was a great opportunity to have a dialogue, discuss with Chinese counterparts, the military, uh, the PLA, but also think tanks and others on the key humanitarian issues and to share our perspectives, but also to discuss about ways to enhance our cooperation on international humanitarian law. So this was absolutely welcome. And the other thing which I think I gained from participating is opportunities also to discuss with many delegations from different countries from all over the world, also about uh, very important issues related to humanitarian affairs uh, and peace. So this was very, uh, very valuable. We see the Chinese Red Cross Society very active also, bringing direct assistance after the earthquake in Syria or after the earthquake in Afghanistan in very difficult circumstances. And we see also engagement uh, at the level of the government on humanitarianism as a, a, a consensus around the international humanitarian law, around the Geneva Conventions, to protect civilians, to protect humanity, even in the midst of armed conflict.